What's going on, everybody? Dak here, Average Gamer Guys, back again. Last day on Earth action. Let's get into it today. A little bit of just really a news update and then a little bit of speculation, I will say, uh, that we're going to jump into here for the upcoming Halloween event. So let's get into it. We got a dev blog. We got this thing. 2024 so this is our halloween event coming up here we got a little bit of uh stuff going on so let's talk about october calendar marks the arrival of samhain a tradition that is hundreds of years old predators thought this holiday had always been surrounded by the mysterious and supernatural otis thinks there's a good reason for that old man knows more than he's telling you got to do the fire cleansing ritual. Now, I actually have up a couple of videos. We're going to jump in. I'm going to just showcase and talk about what happened last year. I'm going to share a few thoughts on what I think maybe we might see, but obviously commune has changed a little bit, and there's always some updates. I also think from last year, we've seen a lot of change to events, so let me just say that up front, but uh, we can do some stuff. We got to you know do the fire cleansing ritual. There's a grim atmosphere. Some stuff's going on. We got to help them out. All right, uh, we'll be generously rewarded for their peace of mind and saving the holiday. And among the rewards, the impressive Grim Reaper apparel. So this is new. This is looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. Uh, typically, we see you get the full outfit plus a backpack. So probably two skins to pick up for this. And uh, that could be really pretty cool. While exploring the wastelands, you can find the kindest person on the planet. Her name is Susi. And uh, you can trust her without any doubt. She's helped out in the Discord and as part of the community. That's pretty cool. And she'll be helping survivors in the game itself. You can meet this fearless girl absolutely everywhere. She'll be happy to share sound survival tips. And if you've already made it to the settlement, she has a gift for you. We're going to showcase what that is here in just a second. So happy to share feedback. Head over to the Discord and all of the socials and let them know what you got going on. So I'm happy. That we got an event i also saw some comments related to the fact that the big update will be closer to the end of this year so maybe november ish uh we'll see december um but uh the winter changes are still on the way and uh that's pretty cool and again we got this new event coming up here in a couple of days actually we'll jump into the calendar to showcase that so look who it is it's me from a year ago <laughs> So I want to talk about what the what the event was the last time if you didn't have the opportunity to play and what it looked like. Um, so essentially it was a it was the best I could describe it as a story based event. It was time capped. Essentially what you had to do is set the fire ritual, which was the big bonfire. If you remember the old commune event, it had a big bonfire in the middle of it. And essentially you had to kill zombies get the special organ parts you would turn them in each time you could do the ritual and then you would do the bonfire ritual um at the very start of it in the commune and this is the part i think is going to be probably somewhat different because we've seen the commune change and it doesn't have as many buildings when we first started we cleared the commune event we essentially were able to go into all the houses and we got a bunch of rewards up front for free and it wasn't terrible stuff it wasn't anything crazy but we got some armor we got some weapons we got some pretty decent i would say uh kind of you know your standard like metals and things like that i remember we got like iodine as well some seaweed so like some pretty cool stuff um essentially what we did is we just followed the story path so it was just a series of tasks run to different locations kill zombies, do those kinds of things. And uh, essentially what we had for the reward track is we had two things. Uh, and I'll, I'll blow this up here a little bit so that you can see it. Actually, we'll just go full screen. What we had here in this event was you had to do five bonfires and you would get each of these rewards. Were these great? Not particularly, but doing the bonfires themselves from the last event honestly wasn't that bad. It was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. This was a very easy event to complete. With that being said, the harder part was these pumpkins. As you killed enemies, special enemies across the maps, and these were all over the place. From my recollection, they were at every location. You gained these little ritual points or ritual stones, whatever they were, and essentially you could buy pumpkins. And the pumpkins were a rolling set of items that you could go through. Uh, this would increase, I think, 
uh, it would double the cost every time you bought one of these. After 80, you were guaranteed the skin. Now, this is where I think the biggest change is going to be for what we'll see in this upcoming event versus what this one was. I think, I'm hoping, obviously, I don't know, but I'm hoping that they've learned from the Daily Shop being really, really successful. I think we're going to see something very similar to the actual commune setup that we get with the seasonal event. I think we might have like a Daily Shop, and I have a feeling that we're going to have like an overall reward track um, or something that we can purchase, kind of like Winter of Despair or something along those lines. That's my hope because that makes it a lot easier to grind for what you want. If you don't care for the skin and they have some other cool stuff there, they'll put those in kind of the prize stands. I personally think that's what we're going to see. Maybe as we complete rituals, we'll get additional points or maybe get additional rewards. I'm not sure, but that's how it was set up. It was very, very, um, again, like story based. That's the best way I can describe it. It was also time capped, which was really interesting. So once you completed the first ritual, you had to wait like 24 hours. Then you could complete the second one, wait another like 36 or 48 hours, 48 hours, whatever the case may be. I don't remember the time gates, but it was something along those lines for you to have some success there. So um, that's what we saw the last time. That's how I think it's going to be different. I will also showcase and share with you that here, I'll just play this little quip. Clip, clip, this is me, but this is my content. I can steal it if I want. This is us putting in the organs here and varying up the different points. You essentially had to offer these zombie parts to get to 100 points. Once you did that, you completed the ritual. So pretty simple. I don't know if we'll see this process again. This was the part that was very easy, which I actually personally like. I'm a fan of events being relatively easy to grind. I don't mind the story-based events. I actually think they're kind of neat. It gives opportunities for them to give us some kind of cool rewards and get some additional things, but it is what it is. So this is us doing, I think, the second or third ritual. We start the fire, we listen to the ritual, and then we're able to go and like get some rewards. And then you can see we get some additional tasks here. We go kill some zombies, do some stuff there, and uh, get that complete. So that's pretty cool. And then when we finished the last ritual here, we also got a reward from this crate here, and this was the final crate reward. Um, is it crazy? No. Is it still decent stuff? Sure. For what we spent to get it, I think this was a pretty decent reward. Now, certainly I'm hoping, I really am hoping for the prize stand. I'm hoping for like a daily reset prize stand as well. I think those things kind of similar to like Forlorn Fair a little bit, and really just very similar to Commune itself. I think that system works really really well i'm also a huge huge fan of events that allow us to basically just do daily tasks and grind and have some success right and this event in the past has put the special zombies in those locations and allowed us to do that so take all this with a grain of salt that's kind of what i feel like we're gonna see it's probably you know maybe gonna be a blend of all of that stuff or it could be totally different and I could be completely wrong, and we'll cover it here in like two days when the event goes live. Uh, but let's jump in here. I wanna showcase a couple of things. So I'm on my free to play account. I've been running around doing some stuff. Susi here is, uh, is available. You can go do this right now, and it's actually pretty easy to miss. So I wanted to showcase this. She, for me, was hanging out here. Interestingly enough, she was hanging out right here in the settlement on these crates this is where i first found her and uh you just chat with her and she gives you a nice little bonus reward let's see if she's hanging out some anywhere else no that's karma why can't i walk on this oh there's like a hole there because you can get under the thing all right so she left there which is kind of interesting they're hanging out who's hanging out he's hanging out over here Let's see. So that's where she was. I promise you. I swear. I swear that's where she was. So this be like, she's not. No, she, she was there. That's where she was. You have to make the headquarters. So like, that makes sense. So anyways, she was sitting right here. I chatted with her. And when I did that, she gave some tips. Very much like the dev blog post talked about. She's there just to give you some tips. She actually had quite a few. 
Um, kind of a nice new player resource, I guess, which is kind of cool. Maybe we'll see her again in the future and pick up some items from her. I don't know. But what I will tell you is she ended up giving us this cool little poster here. So that was your special reward. If you are interested in that and little collectibles, uh, you can do that. Once you get it, have it in your inventory. Come over here, go to decorations, wall rewards, and here's the poster that you can see. So pretty neat, pretty cool. Something to throw up there and do a little extra decoration. Um, we had seen from the last Halloween event that we got the a big like antler statue thing that we could put down. I know that's been some of the comments or questions is if any of the those types of rewards are going to come back. These uh, these type of seasonal reward decorations. Uh, they do a lot of these. They've had a lot of these. So I guess we'll see if something here is coming in the future. But maybe we will. I don't know. It seems pretty consistent that every Halloween it feels like we get one of these. Where's the last one? This one. The spirit animal was the last one uh, that we were able to pick up. So it's huge. It was huge. I have it on our normal account. I could, I'm not going to swap over there and show that, but um, it's gigantic. So if maybe there'll be something here. Uh, what do we got going on? So the event kicks off here. As of the posting of this video, it will be the next day. So keep an eye out for it. Probably our Thursday, either our Thursday or Friday video. We'll jump into it. We'll chat about it. Uh, but it's coming up here. We're going to have seven, seven or eight days to complete it. Um, again, it's commune based. So that's where it's going to take place. We'll see if it's a ton different. Usually every time it's always a little different. The story is a little bit different. Things we do is probably going to be somewhat similar. Um, so that's kind of what I expect. And uh, it's usually a pretty decent event. Um, and it always feels relatively achievable. Now, the only thing I'm scared about, and I hope, I, again, this is why I hope they do like the prize stand style um, reward system is folks are going to want, potentially, going to want to grind for that uh skin right it's cool i think it's pretty neat i hope it's a, that's a little bit easier to achieve expect to have to play mostly every day to probably get there but these typically have been pretty good we'll see if there's other you know positive things like atv transmissions we see that from a lot of these types of events i don't think we saw this the last time i don't recall it um so keep that in mind but uh other than that should be a pretty good event. So we'll be covering here soon. But wanted to cover the news, talk to you about the poster you could get, and uh, we'll be back with more Last Day on Earth content. We'll definitely be back with more of our uh, free-to-play here. We just finished the ATV. If you want to go check that video out from yesterday, that's pretty cool. Super excited. Here it is in all its glory, actually, on our free-to-play account, which is crazy, which is crazy. So, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're hoping for and excited for. And again, we'll be jumping into the event and helping you walk through it when it rolls around here in a day or so. So thanks for watching. I'm going to flash some socials. Stay tuned to the channel. We got lots more Last Day on Earth coming up. Events are coming. Let's get into that holiday season. So we're going to see lots of events. We're going to be seeing that big update, which we'll be jumping into. And uh, so I think it's a good time. Right now is a good time to be playing Last Day on Earth. The last couple of months of the year are always really solid and uh, usually a good time to get some cool rewards, have some fun, have a bunch of stuff to do, which is really, really neat. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see, actually, I wanna be, last time this queued up, yes. So here's the other thing I wanna talk about, regardless of how good this event ends up being, right? So you, you're seeing here, you got the Grim Reaper, you got this, really cool backpack um we got it eh, look at that inspector card so that's neat this also lines up with supply and these are great when these things are paired up it's some of my favorite time because very likely you'll be running around again killing some zombies getting some points from this which then means you're getting easy supply points which is always awesome and this is my favorite seasonal event because uh the rewards here very, very good. So excited for that. Again, thanks for tuning in, checking this out. Hit that sub button for us. We really appreciate that. Trying to get to 10K before the end of the year. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for many, many more updates as the new stuff rolls out and more free-to-play adventures. Thanks for watching. We'll be sure to catch the next one. Peace.